presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling following us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are the way you are because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. And yes, my glasses are broke, folks. I'll be having some new glasses. What a look, right? <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up at buck 30, uh, no, up 47. NASDAQ up 131. S&P's up 27. Gold contract trading up 1350 at 1731. You got silver up a penny, $18.68. Light sweet crew down $3.62, trading at $96.26. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up a full point plus one tick at $118.26. The 30 year up a full point plus 23 ticks at $140.07. And King Dollar. King Dollar's down 163 ticks, trading at $106.914. The year is 101. The yen is at 137. The British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have, folks? Check it out, man. Bottom line, you know, I just did that update. It's breaking the B point right now. Your next leg up, we're at 3993. Your next leg up, folks, is 4234. And let's just see if we're going to get the ABC, man. You, this is a market, man, that is so freaking cool. It's insane. Let's see what we got. 27,019. Okay, you got a minute. We got a minute to get 8,000 uh, contracts. You get 8,000 contracts intraday, you get an ABC structure on the way up. Pretty wild, man. And so that's on the, on the intraday. We take a look at this on the daily. And what you're going to have is that the bottom line is that you, you launch the, the swing points. You know, your first downdraft out here when that, those three days of the downdraft going back to the uh, 9th of June, uh, the bottom of that is 4016. So we'll see what kind of flack you get at that particular point. We go into the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. NQs are leading this market, man. That's the bottom line. We take a look at the NQs out here. And we have with the NQs, pull this back. And this baby, okay, so that's... 99. Oh, look at, no, the, so the end keys, they, they, they were shot for an ABC structure on the way up, okay? What we had is this. You had 99,000 contracts at the first high, 9,900 rather, 9,900, and we just did 7,800. So we'll see whether we get more in the next bar. Uh, but the bottom line is that uh, that bar there didn't have enough. Let me just go back. So it, it, when I'm saying enough, enough for a confirmed ABC structure on the way up intraday, because these intraday ones are something else man so let me just look at this bar again you got 22 versus 27 no we were light there too that being said guess what market wants higher price gold let's go take a look at the gold contract out here what do you have inside the gold contract what we have inside the gold contract is this you came down so you had the ECB come out this morning, folks. They went a half a point instead of a quarter. That was a surprise for the marketplace. Guess what? What it didn't do, which is unbelievable, um, is, you know, 
but didn't do anything for the pound. Okay, I can imagine if they only did a quarter percent, the pound would have went to like 50 cents. Only kidding, but it would have got really smoked. Anyway, gold market, what the gold market did is this. Gold market went down to 1678. Now, the intriguing thing about the gold market going down to 1678, that wasn't even when the dollar was up. Um, I mean, down. The, the bottom line is that, you know, it rejected lower price there. We have the price spread going on right now. There's no doubt about that. You're talking about... 32, 40, well, 22, 32, but yeah, about 37 point spread out here today. Uh, now, what you do need is you need follow through. That's what it comes down to. We've had on a continual basis, there's been no sellers. The bottom line, we haven't had follow through. Um, there hasn't been a sign of strength, all of the above. Uh, what is intriguing out here today, of course, is that what you do have is that interest rates are going down versus going up. We are at 2.9 right now on the 10 year. And if we go take a look at this 10 year, what you're looking at, you know, we were going sideways on the 10-year. Bottom line is that what you have out here today is that, you know, it's 155. You don't have a lot of volume, man, but the 10-year is saying that we are going to make it run back up to 120. Right now, you're at the 118.27. We go take a look at the 30-year U.S. Where are you, man? U.S. Okay, here we go. The 30-year... You get 303,000 contracts. Now, that's a decent contract volume on the 30-year. Um, you know, because the 30-year normally comes in about two, 250. Yeah, you get action here, man. This will be a mind blow if it's going to be an ABC up. It's not going to take much. I suspect tomorrow what's going to happen, we're going to go after this swing point. The swing point that we're talking about is 142.06. And if, that's, if we get a ABC structure up, folks, inside of the 30 year what that's going to be saying is that your probability is going to get higher and we'll see the fed fund futures rate uh starting to trade off of that that when you take a look at the fed calendar you know the next meeting is on the 27th of july which is uh, of course next week um and i suspect a half a point is built in but if you take out the high in the 30 year it would probably take it out in the 10 too that's telling me that the in september the next one uh, out here is september 21st it would be saying that we would back off a bit um on the interest rate structures which <laughs> hey we'll see where this goes but that's that's what this market uh, is saying at this particular point because Inside the bond market, they are buying this thing hands over fist right now. That's, that's how it's shaking out. And um, when we go back and we take a look at the SPY, um, you go, you got to remember something that, you know, the swing point in the SPY is 417. Well, we're at 397. Calendar wise, it's setting up correctly. The reason being it's setting up correctly is that next week's the last trading week of the week of the, of the month. And guess what? You go into window dressing. So it has a shot to really get some action going here, man. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's up 50. Nasdaq's up 125. S&Ps are up 25. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up at 35. We get the Nasdaq up about 117. S&Ps are up 23. And we just, it, it wasn't really a question. He was joking around a bit, I think, about like how many ABCs can you have before it craps out? The largest... ABC structure I've seen in the marketplace, and we rode most of this, folks, was AMAT in 1998 to 2000. It just kept doing ABC structures, one after the other after the other. It was crazy. Um, bottom line is that when you are in an ABC market, um, it's pretty cool. Now, that's the bull side of it. The bear side goes like this, that when you are doing ABCs, I've seen when an ABC finishes, I've seen plenty of them fall apart too, okay? But to answer the question, that was the longest I've ever seen. I mean, it was unbelievable. It was like for a year and a half. It was, uh, I forget the exact date when it started, but it was, it, well, you know what it probably was? No, I, I, I got it actually, because what happened in 98 is that that was the Asian contagion. And as soon as the Asian contagion was over, what, so that would have been uh, October of 98, it never stopped from October of 98 going right up to the millennium in 2000. Because I, the reason I remember that is I remember the amount of calls that were coming in. And I, I got this. So this is crazy. And you probably heard this story before because I, I told it a few times. We were having a New Year's party. And what happened is that almost every person was coming up to me saying, I'm never going to sell on this. And I'm looking around and saying to myself, okay, man. I get a feeling that this is like really a huge problem. And by about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, it was just so extraordinary that people start saying to me, no, I'm not going to pay the tax. And, I'm not, and I says, you know what, this market's done, man. And what ended up happening at uh, January 3rd to January 6th, that was the high, I believe, in the either NASDAQ or the S&P. And March 10th was the high in the NASDAQ. Okay, and that was the end of like an amazing run. And then, you know, so anyway, uh, ABC structures can continue to go on an amazing basis. The thing that does happen is that the, well, yeah, no, thanks, EKS. I'm going to go over to these right now because when I was talking about this this morning, the home builders, and this is going to be deviant, man, the home builders are doing ABC structures up. Look at this. Lana. Well, now it's blowing. Oh, no, no, no. It didn't have it. Okay, hold it, man. Oh, see, now this is Dan. Okay, let me bring up DHI, too. Well, yeah, I'll finish with it or not. This morning, 
when we were looking at this, it should have had the volume. It had, this had 1.4 million when I was on at uh, 10 to 11, when I was doing Larry's show this morning. And now it's not going to have the volume. It has the price, okay? So that's saying, well, now I can run to like 83, and you're at 81. Now let's go to DHI, DH Horton, DHI. Because it'd be really strange if it, it, this definitely should have had the volume. Let me see this. Okay, so. Yeah, D DHI is going to be an ABC up. It needs a volume of. 4.4 4 million, then 5 million. It's a decent one, too. Your B point is 75 and a half. Your A point is, yeah, it's $10 A to B, which gets you uh, $80. And right now you're at 75. Um, let me pull a few more of these up and see where this shakes out. So, Hobovania. Well, let's pull the strongest one up. Okay, so if I take this, uh, see, that's interesting, too. Well, D.H. Horton is, this year, has been the strongest one. No, let's, let's change. 28% MDC. Hovania. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. BZH. Now, BZH. That's Biza. Let's see what they're doing, man. If this is ever doing an ABC up, it'll blow my mind. Because this is just... No, it's not, right? Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Let's go to Home Depot and see what Home Depot is doing to see if there's going to be any traction in that area. Nope, that's falling out of bed. It's up by dollar thirteen, but you can see Home Depot's this Home Depot's coming into uh, two point nine million, you got one point seven. The swing point there's three oh eight forty six. Three oh eight forty six. Yeah, three oh eight forty six. And right now you're at three oh three forty five. You know. So um you're gonna, we're going to have some divergence out there. The DHI, though, uh, no doubt, was uh, really intriguing. They, you know, the, the, the numbers weren't bad, weren't great, uh, but the bottom line is that the, the market liked it. That's what it comes down to. It, it liked it and liked it in spades. Let's go take a look and see uh, some of the higher volume equities out here and see what we have. So you got Ma Bell's down at buck sixty four. They're having a problem collecting phone bills, which is pretty intense, man, because um, phone bills aren't that expensive. Uh, you got American Airlines down a buck twenty-seven. You got Apple up uh, one ninety-three. We have uh, Nvidia. Oh, look at that! Nvidia gave it up. Let's go to Nvidia. Nvda. So Nvidia. Oh, no, I see, I see. Okay, that was yesterday, right? Okay, so NVIDIA is still, the high of today was 181. Uh, NVIDIA took over, blew away at swing point, has volume on the blow away. NVIDIA is going to be making its way up to this 196 area. Some of the other higher volume, uh, well, here, let's go to Tesla, because Tesla, bottom line, is blowing away swing points, has the, has the price movement, has the volume, has it all. Yeah, there you go. So this is how you want to blow a swing point away, too, but the, and blow a consolidation away. You can see the top of the consolidation here, 793. You're at 816. You get volume of 42 million. Um, you also have, let's just see what the 0.382 on the bounce would be. A 0.382 would be 821. You know, so you can see 821 in a second. That's a 0.382. A 5.0 is uh, 8.92, and then we take a look at, uh, it's not, hey, the shot position is not bad. The shot position right now is only 3.16. Now, granted, that's 27 million shares, but it's not like a 10% shot position inside there. Now, I suspect, you know, there'll be some buy-in because you got an acceleration like that. Uh, bottom line, which I, I expect that you're going to see some buy-in in there, but... Um, that, that equity wants higher price. That's the real bottom line. So let's go inside the NDX again and see what's moving this baby. Because if we hold up like this, yeah, Tesla's up 10%. You get NetEase up 5.5%. ASML is up 47 and Pindoradu is up 4 Taken away from it, T-Mobile's down 36 You get married off 1.5. 
Uh, Walgreens Boots is off 1.4, and you got uh, Dollar Tree. Oh, no, yeah, Dollar Tree down 1.7%. Uh, and there's no doubt as we, uh, here, let me show you something here. This is pretty cool, too. Uh, we're going to go over to the DAX in Germany because you, well, you can see what happened. you got to always remember something. You know, Europe is basically four and a half hours ahead of us. And what happened, you know, this morning as you were doing it, the DAX had been down. The DAX had a low of 13,097, and it just kept clawing back, clawing back, clawing back. That says quite a bit. You want to, you should pay attention to that intraday because it gives you a lot of great hints as to where we're going. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up 70. You got the NASDAQ up 126. S&Ps are up 27. Let's get inside the Dow and see what type of strength versus weakness we have. Um, Point-wise out here, what you have, folks, is that you got uh, Goldman Sachs putting 29 positive points. Uh, Boeing 16, you got United Health 15, Visa 14, taken away from it, IBM minus 15, uh, Chevron minus 15, and Travelers minus 11. We go take a look at uh, symbol NEE, uh, what is, which is uh, next year energy, the low is 67, the high is 93. So they're coming out, uh, is this tomorrow, 22nd? Yeah, tomorrow, 22nd, uh, with their numbers. And so let's take a look at this baby. So I suspect what it's going to try to do is get into, well, let's see. Let me just see. What, so they're, they're looking, fundamentally, they're looking to come in with uh, 5.2 5 billion and 75 cents to the bottom line. Um, I suspect it's going to try to go for the swing point up here. Uh, what this baby did is that, you know, uh, last week, 
I had the swing at 81.30, couldn't, couldn't basically take it out. The swing we're talking about here is uh, 81.49. That had 12 million shares. We got up there at 7 million. So it's going to need more volume, but I suspect it's going to go try to test that area once again. Um, that, this equity there, bottom line is that, yeah, it, it, just like the market, it come down, it come down hard. Um, that looks like it made a bottom, though, about two, two and a half months ago. That's how that baby's set up. Let's go over to the S&Ps again, because my take, let's see, what time is it? Yeah, see, this is perfect, man. This is when you want to see the run, man. You know, the bottom line is that it's been trying, 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 right? We're, when we first got on the air, we were talking about the aspect of it could be the ABC. Uh, bottom line, didn't have enough volume to be the ABC up. Um, making a run, you can even wait another five or ten minutes. What you like to see, if you're a, if you're a bull, what you like to see is that when you can run closer into like quarter four, um, your probability goes much higher that you are going to blow everything away. Um, 3.30, it's a, it's, it's a close call, man. It's a close call. Um, you know, the way that we've been trading, however, and the amount of angst that people have that the world's going to fall apart, which, you know, I think we're going into recession. There's no doubt about that. Um, the market's deviant enough to just make this run. And we'll see where this baby does shake out tomorrow. But uh, next week, folks, the tech stocks, like, is one after the other after the other. And what we've seen is that you've seen the pre-announcements about how many tech equities are basically cutting expenses hand over fist. Um, there was a good article yesterday on Bloomberg, and what they were talking about, they had, they had a, you know, they were talking about the aspect that most times what does happen in a recession is that companies wait for the recession and they start pulling back. And I can see exactly what they're talking about because when I'm, I'm trying to think back of recessions myself, right, and it seems like this recession has been telegraphed, right? So it's like, okay, well, maybe we won't have a recession. You know, I think we will because when you saw that yesterday Ford says they're laying off 8,000 people, man, well, that's, that's, when you start seeing these, those types of numbers, those types of numbers, folks, are absolutely huge, man. And, you know, I just, well, the bottom line is that 8,000 people is a lot of people. I mean, you know, in the context of how many people in the United States, no. But what does happen is that that won't be the only company that is laying off those types of people. And then on top of that, what you have is the aspect of that a lot of the tech companies have stopped hiring. It's amazing to me that when you start looking at some of these numbers, even when they're hiring, how many people they hire on a continual basis? I mean, how do you manage that many people, right? It's like, uh, it's just crazy, man. It really is. Let's go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at a few gold stocks, okay? Since they haven't caught a bid at all, we'll start with Newmont. Newmont, you know, before this downdraft, folks, Newmont was the strongest gold stock there was, and Newmont literally just come down 40%. You know, Newmont, Newmont bottom line, went from $86 down to $51.95. We bring this back, let me put this back. Yep, look at that. Okay, so, you can, now this is pretty intriguing because if Newmont doesn't close tomorrow, over 53.03, that's, that's saying, hey man, that thing can still go to 48.43. What was the low? 51, because you're in another range now. I mean, that, that broke a consolidation. Let's go take a look at uh, an Eco Eagle. Look at this. That's a problem. Man, this is almost like a small ABC down. Hold it. Let's see this. Okay, so... This went straight down now, last six months, from 67 to 41, broke the consolidation. Well, this is a problem, man. Yeah. You got, so picture this, man. An Eco Eagle, it's only two points into the high of the low bar, but that, folks, you know, they can get out of that, you know, because the bar itself is huge. The bar itself is uh, seven points. Um, 
But you get into that another couple more points, and that would say we want to go to the bottom of the bar. Now, the volume contraction is also large. So let's go to uh, Barrick. Ba Barrick, it's amazing to me how actually weak Barrick has been. You know, Barrick, straight line move down from uh, 25 to 15. Put this on... Yeah, this is into the bar big, man. So oh, this one's this is this is actually saying it's got, it can hit the bottom. Yeah, the top of that bar was uh, oh no, but monthly. Sorry. Yeah, still can. This is yeah, it doesn't help. Twelve bucks that can hit twelve bucks. Now that's the bad news. The good news is one of our tigers just to give me a heads up. You go to Pan American Silver. This is a good. This is this is they got action here, man. Pan American Silver, same deal. That went down from $30. Uh, we hit 1726 last week, but see this volume pushing? You see it, someone's coming into the stock. And that's not you and me. That, <coughs> that's going to be a fund, folks. 3.2 million shares traded. We hit a low with 3.3. Uh, that 3.3. Yeah, this is cool, man. So check it out. Here you go. The high of the low is 1774 in March. We hit seven. Oh my God, look at that. What's that? Yeah, 1774. We hit 1726 and rejected lower price. You know, so now bottom line is going to try to go higher. It'll get a little flack at uh, 20, 21 dollars, but uh, bottom line is that. Uh, that is one of the first ones that I've actually seen that you're getting some traction into. Because what should happen here, folks, the gold market is so small that when they get in traction in it, it should look like Pan American silver. You know, you can't hide when you start getting volumes bars that expand dramatically. And then, of course, as you have the wide price spread, the accelerated volume, guess what? Bottom line, that is saying you're going to higher price. Let's go to EXP. We take a look at uh, Eagle Materials, right? Is that right? You must... Okay, so EXP. Thank yeah, stay right there, folks. You're going to come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow is up 70. NASDAQ's up 123. S&P's up 28. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up at 76. You get the NASDAQ 125. SPs are up uh, 28. Let's go take a look at the composite. So the composite right now. Oh, look at this. I like this, man. Okay, so the composite blew away the swing point two days ago. And the top of the next swing is 12,320. And you're only 300 points away from it right now. Uh, bottom line, that's where we're going, man. Uh, and this, so this, watch how this shakes out, folks. So ice on the composite is 12,555. Now let's go see what a 50% retracement is. 12,609. So watch this. This is, you know what's going to be really cool here, folks? If, in fact, we go for the swing point that I think we're going for, which is a June 1st swing point, well, depending how we get there, let's, so let's pitch it. My take is that we're actually going to go for it tomorrow. If we go for it tomorrow and we get to that swing, and the swing we're talking about in the composite is uh, 12,320, well, that's past the point 382. When you go past the point 382, you normally go to the 50. So that sets up, uh, you know, 609. And we'll, you know, we'll see what all that's baby shaking out. But uh, let's go to the Dow Industrials. Let me look at the Dow. So the Dow is just taken out. That's just getting over the swing, the first swing. And this bail, well, it's right at it right now. Uh, 31,885, and right now you're, well, you're, you're 70 points over it. Um, we'll see what kind of volume we're going to come in with today. And you got to remember that we're not going to get volume tomorrow. I mean, you're 3.9 billion inside the composite. We take a look at the NYSE, and you're at 560 versus 980, and we got, what, 15 minutes left? So, so that volume's gonna be light, man. That's, that's the bottom line, you know? So when the volume's light, you get a whole price. We go, let's go take a look at the IWM, the small caps. Small caps, yeah, uh, there they are, interesting, man. Look at this. Small caps, same setup. You took out the first swing. Now you're going after the IWM. We're going after 190 or at 181. Yeah. So this is good. This is pretty twisted, man. Meaning twisted in the sense, folks, that you know you come down hard and fast, right? And what we have done, and we know that we tested this bottom so many times. Um, this thing wants. This thing looks to me like it's going to get some legs. And the sad part, so that's the good part, right? And the, and the good part is you want to run it as long as you can run it. The real kicker is going to be at every one of these swing points, you know, is there a turn that's going to come up and bring us right back downtown? And it's going to be about the dollar. Let's go take a look at the euro because we, we know right now that the dollar is running the deal. And, you know, the, the scary part about the euro is that it can't get out of its way. The euro is still at 102. You know, 99 was the low. That 99 was hit five days ago, six days ago. 
Um, it's not impressive what the, the euro did today. Euro gets to a price point of, you know, uh, 1.0180 and then gives up, you know, four one hundredths, four zero zero. That's saying, hey, man, you can go right back to the bottom. So there's, there's a lot of good little dynamics that are happening in this market, and they're happening very quickly. That's, that's how this is uh, shaking out right now. Let's go take a look at uh, Anglo Ashanti. So Anglo Ashanti, bottom line, same in the gold market, same deal. This is a straight line move down from 26, five months ago. You're trading at 1405. Um, you know, we'll see whether they can get any juice here. The reason that I went over there is that what you had out here today, and this has happened all over the world, you had the um, South African Bank, Central Bank. Let's see what they, they went up on rates big time. I mean, they have huge rates over there anyway. Let's see, where was it? Um, so... Was there a, I'll find that rate. Bottom line is that they also went up on their interest rate structure. Now they have a much larger interest rate structure uh, than we do in spades, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, you start looking around the world and you can see, this is what's really cool too, folks, right? You can see how we're in a one world economy in general because first everyone goes into negative rates, right? Well, a lot of countries do. Then they're basically trying to get the rates up. This is a worldwide phenomena that inflation is just raging. And so the real kicker is going to be uh, bottom line is, you know, how far they're going to go, how fast they're going to go, and will they be able to stop the train? Now, they've got to be able to stop. They have to be able to stop the train because the train will destroy everyone's wealth in about, you know, a year or two years. That's what it comes down to. You know, Tommy was talking about this morning, Social Security. And there's no doubt if you're on Social Security, the bottom line is that you're going to end up uh, next year getting a raise from like 9% to 10.5%. Uh, now, that's a monster number, right? And I'm, I'm sure, you know, everyone that's getting Social Security, including myself, <laughs> would, you know, it's quite a raise, man. That's, that's, that's a big freaking raise, man. You, you, go, you picture this. If you go up like that for two or three years, right, the debt structure, they were worrying, markets were worrying somewhat in the aspect of, okay, just paying the baby boomers off, period. Never mind, you know, that you start hitting inflation and you start kicking in a 10% or 9% raise every year. Um, I, I suspect we'll start seeing some articles about the aspect of, how much that's actually going to cost the government, because it's, it's a monster number. There's no, there's no doubt about that. It's just an absolutely huge number. The, um, let's go take a look at the XLE. So the XLE earlier in the year, that had the good run, no doubt about that. Uh, bottom line is that, you know, it looks to me that you might have had that oil top out, man. You know, uh, bottom line, the XLE, you got a high of 93, you're at 71. It came down fast. You know, this is going to take a lot of juice to get by the 72.59. Now, the way we came down on the 17th of June is a very large number. And we, came, we got down there in 64 million shares. We tried to get back up. We went up with 39 million. Couldn't handle it. In the last, yesterday, we went up with 20 million. You can see that. As it's going up, it's getting weaker, so it's real possible what you had here is that you had funds that were running it all the way up, ran it up good, right, got rid of it, flipped it around, start taking that bread, going into the broader market, you know. And the SMHs, there's no doubt, the SMHs, they got smoked more than anyone. When you look at NVIDIA, when you look at some of these SMHs, I mean, the smoking was unbelievable, okay, on the way down. So... Even if they're a dead cat bounce, they're going to go for quite some time. Dow Industrial's up 118, Nasdaq's up 146, S&P's are up 34. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
the technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 114, Nasdaq's up 147, the SPs are up 34. You're going to finish the highs of the day, folks. You're going to run this market. Right up, and the bottom line is that this is the sixth day where we're going uh, higher. Um, that's that's a long, that's a good trend, man. Now the reason I'm bringing that up is that it, you know, when you get a trending week like we have, um, your probability is much higher that tomorrow this trend will continue. That's kind of how these things normally work. So we'll see how it does shake out. Uh, if we go take a look at the spy, you know, we were talking about um, this this morning is that this is a three gap play. So this is what you're gonna have to watch out like a the hawk. The first gap, we're coming, uh, uh, first gap down, we're coming into, um, which is 401.44 on the SPY, or at 398. We go over to the NDX 100, we look at that, and look at that, it's buy it, I love it, 299. Okay, so check this out, man. Uh, the bottom line is that the Qs are buy that one. So this, this market has legs, man. That's, I know, bizarre. I'm telling you, blowing my own mind. But it has legs. Because what you have, this is why you like looking at both indices. You try to look at as much as you can look at that you think is a correlation. Well, the NDX is blowing away this 299 in the heartbeat. We're at 307. And, man, this is going, man. This is, this is going. And it's real possible... Uh, your next leg, oh, I see it right there. What is that? 317. Yeah. 317 is ice. And so what ice is, folks, is this. We have ice 
is it's a, it's a Wyckoff term, right? And it's where you, you know, you've come down, okay, and then you break lower, and then you break into a new trading range, okay? So it's, it's, you know, this is not scientific, that's for sure. You know, there's a lot of, it's subtle, okay? Um, bottom line is that I'll get to some better examples tomorrow, but uh, once you really kind of understand it, um, you'll see it a lot, you know. At the beginning, just even the term is like, okay, what the heck is that? And I, and I get it, folks. Don't. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock kicks us off. Great show. Radio.